Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given nested exponential equation, 2 power 3 and then power 4 and power x minus 512 equals to 0. And eventually, we are going to check for any extraneous solutions as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and move this negative 512 on the right hand side. And here 512 has been moved to the right hand side. Now let's focus on this part on the right hand side 512. And now we can see that 512 is equal to 2 power 9. That means if we multiply 2 9 times we are going to get 512. So therefore, our this equation could be written as 2 power 3 power 4 and then a power x equals to 2 power 9. And now we can see that our bases over here are the same. So therefore, we can equate this exponent with this one as well. So therefore, we can write 3 power 4 and then power x equals to 9. And now we know that this 9 could be written as 3 power 2. So therefore, our this equation could be written as now 3 power 4 power x equals to 3 power 2. And now once again we can see that our bases on both sides are same. So therefore we can equate this exponent with this one as well. So therefore we can write 4 power x equals to 2. Now let's focus on this base 4. 4 could be written as 2 power 2. So therefore I can write this one 2 power 2 and then a power x equals to 2 on the right hand side. And now let's recall this power rule according to this rule we can multiply out these two nested exponents. So therefore we can write 2 power 2x equals to 2. And now let's manipulate this 2 on the right hand side. 2 could be written as a 2 power 1. And now we can see once again that our bases are same on both sides. So therefore we can equate our exponents as well. So therefore we can write 2x equals to 1. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So our x value turns out to be simply 1 over 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and check our solution at x equals to 1 over 2. And here's our original equation. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So I can write 2 power 3 power 4. And our x value is 1 over 2 minus 512 question mark is this left hand side equal to this 0 on the right hand side. And now let's focus on this one 4 power 1 over 2. And now we can see that 4 power 1 over 2 is simply equals to 2. So our left hand side could be written as 2 power 3 and then power 2 minus 512 equals to question mark equal to 0. And now let's focus on this 3 power 2 which is equal to 9. So therefore this could be written as 2 power 9 minus and now we know that 2 power 9 is equal to 512. So therefore this is going to become 512 and minus 512 question mark is it equal to 0. And now we can see that this statement indeed is a true statement. So therefore we conclude that x equals to 1 over 2 is indeed our valid solution. So thus our solution turns out to be x equals to 1 over 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.